all right what we're going to do here is we're going to protect the transducer cable on a trolling motor this will work with your spot lock trolling motors or just any trolling motor in general uh, one of the main things is is keeping your cable where it don't get in the motor get nicks on it and stuff like that and this is a, a very simple and cheap way to do it we've done them like this several times but here is uh it's a air hose. I got it at Harbor Freight. It's a quarter inch. What I did here, I've got it wrapped four times around right here. You don't want to get it so thick right here that you can't pull it up and get your trolling motor to latch because you definitely don't want it to fall down going down the road. So I'm going to go four turns here. Then I'm going to take my transducer cable right here around the side. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep it in this stuff here. I'm going to run it around to this. And I guess I'll probably just attach it right here and take it to that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it right here because I know that's where I want it. Might leave me a little extra, a couple inches. Unwrap this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my snips. You could use a knife, but you, I wind up cutting myself with a knife. So I'm just going to go right down through here like this. Cut myself with these, man. Careful. All right, I get it to where I can lay it down. Then I can just pull like so. Alright, now I got it cut. And you gotta just get it back together here. Alright, so now it's get it slinky back up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my transducer cable here. I'm just going to start it in. Probably be better. I guess I could run it all the way down to the left a few extra inches. I'll just run it all the way down. Alright, I got it started on here. I'm going to take me a cable tie. Go around it here. That'll hold it on while I Go the rest of the way. I'm just going to feed it. Feed that cable. Right on the inside. It's tough to get it pressed in there, but once you get them in, they don't, they'll stay in them. All right, I got it all in here now, but you can see how that the hose looks like it's not going to cool, but it will. What you want to do now is, is I gotta take it here. I'm just gonna go ahead and let this down. And you're like, yes. Like, and she's helping me here. Alright, I'll make my first wrap right there. Gotta turn it right. I'm just gonna spin it here. There's two. What we got here, we decided to go right here with it. You want to bring it up if you got a spot lock trolling motor like this. We got it coming down around here and right up. And see, here you got your coils. That's three revolutions of cable. So, you know, unless your spot lock goes crazy or something, you've got plenty. But now you can let it down. 
which down here I've got it loose right here I'm gonna put a, a wire tie on it right here I need a bigger one to clamp it but right here but see you've got that and there's no way that you're gonna turn more revolutions than that but that's the thing to be careful with see so like when you pull it up and uh, you're gonna stow it away and you slide it up see so it'll slide right up and latch but you just want to make sure to look at it, make sure that you're not getting caught into something to where it don't latch good because you definitely don't want your trailer motor filing going down the road or filing when you're running down the water. So, but anyway, then after you do that, you can just finish tying your transducer cord, neat, tighten your wires up, make it look neat. I'm going to run the rest of this wire right under the front panel here and up to the trolling motor. But the key to, or the advantage to doing it this way, if you don't do it this way, I would have to take my transducer cable and I would have to run it up here and I'd have to tie it up here. Then I'm going to have that cable stretched across here, stretched across your control box for your spot lock. And then it does get twisted up. Then you've got all that loose cable hanging and then it gets in your trolling motor. So a lot of bad things can happen there. So either do something like this or, or buy something to protect your cables.